Where am I? Where were you? In the fifth circle. But now, I think, the second. Lust. Huh, yes. Dante. Of course. The device is working perfectly, Dr. Miles. Device? Yes. The instrument we use to bring you from your home. I don't see any device. These aren't biblical times. The device's visual manifestations are malleable. So you chose a church? This is your prison. You chose its shape and form. You also chose your own appearance. I look damn good. It seems so real. Your setup must have cost you more than 30 pieces of silver. You can't take it with you. Who chose that form of the device? This is one of its default forms. But it can take on any appearance you wish. Anything I wish? A coffee mug? First stupid thing I thought of. Well, you didn't call me forth to discuss the state of modern science. Why am I here? While our science can bring you here, there are limitations. Limitations? My husband is dying. Ah, I see. I've dedicated my life to science, only to watch it fail me when I needed it most. Science has rules. You can break those rules. You can fix my husband. And I'm supposed to do this out of the goodness of my heart? It's okay. I've got it. That must be Henry. He's always getting in the way, isn't he? I gotta hand it to you, Seth. You weren't the most gifted candidate in Dr. Miles's program, and yet you were the first to finish your thesis. Claire chose you to assist her. You like to call her Claire, wouldn't you? To be more familiar with her. Why wouldn't she like to get to know you better? You're handsome, young, and not dying of a terrible disease. I know what you're trying to do. It's not gonna work. Oh, you're right. You got me figured out. I mean, why would she want you when she already has a perfect man, huh, newbie? You know, if this works out, then I won't be going anywhere. And you'll just be back to pining over dear, sweet, sexy Dr. Claire. He's almost dead anyway. Seth, Henry's machines need to be calibrated. It's nearly the top of the hour, and if we don't calibrate them, it'll kill him. I know, doctor. I'll take care of it. It is strange to see humans advance so far. Such power you have learned. You stand here capable of pulling me out of my home. I remember when your kind could barely use a twig to pull ants out of a log. I had a history professor who told me it was once thought that science killed God. Atheists are by far the most satisfying. Something about their incredulity that sweetens the experience. Enough talk. Name your terms. A life for a life. <laughs> so you mean you are willing to sacrifice your own life for that of your husband's, he says naively. You know exactly what it is I'm proposing. So you didn't choose Dr. Tremaine for his intellect and good looks. My goodness, Claire. I thought succubi were bad. I'm a woman of science. If Seth were to live a hundred years, he wouldn't be half the scientist that Henry is. It's a mathematical certainty that Henry's life is more valuable than Seth's. Claire, I'm flattered. You're not Henry. Maybe not. But you gotta ask yourself, would he make the same choice if he were in your position? Does he love you that much? Listen 
demon. Seth, I need you to check the visual representation of the containment field. You offered me one. Now I have yours too. <laughs> <laughs> Ha <laughs> ha